In the early 19th century, a group of people tried to convince people that they could communicate with ghosts. One of the most effective things they could do was to set up a chair at the end of a corridor. When you looked at the chair, you would see a ghostly figure appear. That figure would seem to be sat in the chair, but you could also see through them. This illusion was called Pepper's Ghost, and you can see it here. I have two Bunsen burners that both seem to be lit. Every time I move to the side, you can see them, uh, the flame following it. But if you look closely, you might start to notice something strange. One of these actually isn't lit. And this is how the illusion worked. They'd have a chair at each end of a corridor, and in a hidden chair, someone would sit. So in this case, I have two Bunsen burners, one burning, one not burning. But the reflection of the burning appears in the other one. So let's try and explain what's going on here. As you've probably seen in your lessons, when we see a reflection, we have an object, that's the thing that's actually there, and then we have an image. And this is an example of a virtual image, so it appears to be inside the mirror. If you do with a lens, then it will appear inside a lens. Now we can draw that like this. So I've got the object in front, that's the flame, and I've got an image that appears to be inside the mirror. So if we think back to our year eight physics, I know that if I look at it from over here, so here's my eye, looking at this image, I know there's gonna be reflection. So what you've learned in the past is to get to the eye, light has to leave the object, we're going to have a normal here, and the light's going to reflect and enter my eye like this. Now the important part of how images work is that my eye can't tell that the light has reflected. So from my eye's point of view, it appears as though the light has come from here, from the image inside the mirror. And that same thing happens if I look at it from a different angle. If I move my eye to look at it from the other side, exactly the same process happens again. Light leaves the object, it reflects off of the mirror at an equal angle of reflection to the angle of incidence, and it enters my eye. But again, my eye doesn't know that the light has changed direction, so it looks as though it's come from here. And look at that. Both the green line and the blue line, they meet at the same point. And that's the fundamental point about how images work. Images always appear in the same place, inside the mirror or inside a lens. And once we know that fact, we can pick absolutely any point we like. I could choose to say, what will it look like if I look at it straight on here? Well, now I know that from my eye's point of view, that it thinks the light, or it acts as though the light is coming from here. I know that in reality, the light is coming from the object and bouncing off the mirror. But if you go and measure these angles, once again you'll find it's obeying the angle of reflection absolutely everywhere you look. So there's nothing unique about any of these locations. All the light that's coming from this object is reflecting in a way that makes it appear to be coming from the image. And that's why, as we look around at this and we move from side to side, the image always seems to be in the same location. But I can break this illusion really easily by simply moving this out of the way. And as soon as I do that, you can see really easily how this illusion works.